Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whoever and wherever you are. This is Coach Lee, and we're working on speech anxiety in all its gross forms. And we're talking with Ella. Say hello, Ella. Hello. And Ella is from Florida, and she is a teacher, and she began stuttering at age seven. And uh, it's about one third with family and friends and less elsewhere. Uh, did you tell me that you have a problem with your class or are you OK at class when you're teaching? Yeah, so I'll have blocks um, in okay. class here and there, but it really depends on my confidence levels uh, sure. in the current moment. Okay. Yeah. Not so uh, what would you say that it's, is it like around a third of your words or is it less with them than it is with your family and friends? In classes, um, probably less. Okay. Friends and family. Oh, I see. We put down zero to 30% for class. Now, um, let's talk about everywhere else for a minute. Is it is it pretty consistent everywhere else? Or are you, I mean, when you talk to me, you show zero signs of any problem. Yeah, so I'm very good at avoiding words and kind of swapping them out. Um, it's just very habitual to me. Um, but when it comes to moments when I'm speaking to my parents or my family and friends and I can't swap out words and pressure is high, that's when I block. And um, now, right now, you're not swapping out anything. You're just talking to me as if you never started a word in your life. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is also? I feel like it's the threats that kind of put me in a negative mind space. Um, and for me, that's like my problem right now it's like not going down that negative route and just keeping to my affirmations in my head when I am in that like negative mentality and I am coming from that uh fear uh head space yeah yeah um. because it's it's like it's it kind of plummets when I when I have a threat, then I'm just like, at from that point on, I just kind of plummet with my fluency because I'm in that negative mind space. And so that's kind of what I'm mo working the most on right now. Right now, you're using what we call crutch 13. No crutch at all. Are you aware of that? No, <laughs> I'm not aware of that. Yeah. Uh, you're just talking as if you never had a problem in your life, aren't you? Yeah. And, and that's what you're totally capable of doing anywhere. Uh, you know, some people call it just babbling, you know, just chat or chattering. Um, when you don't give your mind any instructions at all, that's what you're doing now. And that's what fluency is. And really, all you need to do under pressure is not give your mind any instructions anymore. There, there is no reason to feel pressure in talking to anyone, zero reason. Because number one, you're at no risk for anything. There's no, there's no problem there. And look, if what I say on the cover of my book is true, 
if I can say any word anywhere, anytime, I can say any word anywhere, anytime. Isn't that logic? Yeah. I mean, there's no reason organically, physically, mentally, genetically, there is no reason for you to have any more problem talking to your family, friends, strangers, groups, on the phone, etc., than you have talking to me. Yeah. No reason. There's stuttering is nothing. There's nothing there. There's nothing wrong with you, with your, you know, physically um, or mentally. You simply have a bad habit, which is based on worrying about your ability to say words when in truth, when you don't worry about it, you have no, no problem whatsoever. Yeah. And, you know, if you, if you, a simple speech plan, uh, talk less, talk softly. Um, it says motion, meaning emotion, um, being passionate and smiling. This is a sort of a, well, we talked. We talked once, just once before. Is that true? Once, twice. twice we talked twice, and and um, since we started, um, have you read any of my books? So I'm at the very end of the mind training and neuroplasticity book out to stop I love speaking and of course you've loved this book I do love it it's amazing uh I'm nearing the end um and I plan to reread it because I just feel like you can't catch every detail on one go, so I'm going to read it. So my people have read it 10 times. Can you believe that? That's crazy. One, one guy told me from Kentucky, he said, I'll never stop reading your book, never. That's awesome. As long as I live, I'll read this book. And he doesn't stutter anymore either. He stuttered pretty badly. Um, but in any event, so um, since you, um, when did you finish it the first time? I haven't yet. I'm at the very end, though. Okay. So, um, have you been trying to do what it says in the book? Yes. Okay. Yes. What have you specifically been doing? So, obviously, the crutches. Um, I've been trying to work on a particular word linkage. Um, I've been doing the affirmations. I've been reading. Um, out loud, of course. Um, and I've been trying to have a positive mentality um, in regards to my speech. And I feel like um, I'm not there yet. I'm still working on that. How do you, have you been, have you noticed significant improvement? I have noticed improvement, yes. Good. So uh, I guess what we need to do is find out what has helped you the most so far. What do you do that has helped the most? Well, are you doing your mind training daily? Yes. Okay, that's very important. Uh, look, uh, this is, this is even when you get over your speech problem, and you will, if you keep working at it, you will. Um, when you get over it, you should then apply it, apply it to other forms of anxiety and anger and jealousy and hatred and greed and any, uh, any other negative thinking that you do, uh, that all humans do, it's just a question of, of fighting them. So it's a lifetime commitment there. Uh, are you reading aloud? Yes. Okay, and, and uh, how's that been going? Good. I noticed that I become kind of monotone and I know that you make a point that you need to speak passionately when you read and maybe use the crutches. 
and I do try to use the crutches when I read. However, I do notice that monotone keeps coming up for me um, the more that I read on. So, yeah, I, I just keep having to remind myself to speak with. You know, some people, some stutterers, when they pretend to be someone else, they don't stutter at all. And, and, and this is why there have been a number of actors and actresses who stuttered off the stage who never stuttered on the stage. It's very true. Mm -hmm. And this, this is probably one reason why it's one of the one of several reasons why singers. I was a singer and I sung solos when I was 12 years old on the radio. I never stuttered when I saw them. Never. Yeah. So um, it's just when you're somebody else, if you can make yourself, you know, be a, a, one of my uh, singing coaches at the time said, Lee said, if you want to, if you want to be any good, he said, you've got to be an extreme example of yourself. And that's kind of what I say to you. If you want to beat stuttering, the fastest way to beat stuttering is to be completely over the top all the time that you talk. Move around, use your hands, smile a lot. You got a great smile. Use your smile, laugh a lot. Move, let yourself do natural body movements and be, you know, be the person when, when you come into the group, it's like, you know, Pep Ella showed up, you know, <laughs> the girl with all the energy and excitement. Be, you've known people like that, haven't you? I have, yes. And don't we, don't we like those people better? Than other? Those people better. They're very positive. Let's convert the stuttering into a blessing. Let's not make it a tragedy. It's not a tragedy. It's not a crime. Even if you stutter, it's not a crime. You're not hurting anybody. You don't mean bad things. And, and nobody really cares about it. They don't like it because it wastes their time. You know, and they just want to know what you have to say. They don't want a lot of, you know, they're in a hurry. They got their own problems cooking. And stuttering is not one of them. They don't understand it. Right. So, I mean, that's, otherwise they don't care. And they don't, and they don't really remember um, I, I, I tell a story about one of the guys I coached in Texas who was 12, stuttered terribly. And um, when I met him, he was trying to become a, a minister and he stuttered, he couldn't do it. So uh, he hadn't stuttered, he had stuttered in years now. But he told me that after he stopped stuttering, he had lunch with a guy that had been sat next to him for 12 years in school. And this guy heard, this guy, his name was Josh. And he heard Josh stutter every day in every class for 12 years. Well, they had lunch together. A guy had, Josh hadn't seen this guy in three or four years. And so they had lunch together. And this guy, they had 30 minutes into the lunch, the guy leaned across the table and he said, Josh, I just realized something. Josh said, what's that? He said, you're not stuttering, man. And Josh said, yeah, I decided not to do that anymore. <laughs> not another word was said about it. That's beautiful. That's how much people remember stuttering. Nobody cares. Get over it. Everyone has a litany of problems. Yeah. They, they can't add your stuttering to their list. There's nothing they can do to help you anyway. Yeah. They don't understand the problem at all. So forget it. And he said, well, I feel humiliated. I understand that, but that's temporary too. So it's temporary if you want it to be. But you are so close to, I mean, when you talk to me, you obviously don't feel pressure. You just, oh, this is the old crazy old man from Bermuda, and he doesn't mean me in the arm. He won't hurt me. 
Right. <laughs> so, so, exactly right. so it's okay. So I can talk all I want to him. It's not going to hurt anybody. <laughs> and so, but that sort of lackadaisical rambling attitude is what you need to feel everywhere. Talking to everyone. If you can talk to me or anyone else, your dog, your little nephew who's three years old, or, you know, uh, whomever, anyone you can talk to, think of those people, and all talking is like that. And all, all you got to do, you know, is be an actress, be as over the top, as smiling, as positive, and as upbeat as you can be. Let's convert the, the problem into a blessing. Let's use it to make yourself somebody you're not. You're an actress. Oh, yeah. You're the girl who is Peb Ella. Who is that? That's the girl who is bubbling. She's enthusiastic. She's over the top in everything she says. Can you talk to me like that right now? Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Tell me, okay, tell me a little bit about your family, your parents and your siblings and stuff like that. And really get me excited about this. Okay. <laughs> well, my name is Ella Weil. I have two parents, obviously. <laughs> I have one living. Yeah, that's very true. Yes, they're both living, thankfully. I'm very grateful for that. I have one sister. Uh, her name is Tiffany. Uh, I have two dogs. They're both golden retrievers. Yes, they're very cute. Um, we named them from the movie The Lion King. I don't know if you watched it. Uh, so oh, I didn't. You did not. No. Well, it's a very known movie. <laughs> I know it is. Oh, okay. So they're named Simba and Nala. Um, and that's my family. <laughs> okay. And so, all right. So um, how old are you now? I am 22. I'm turning 23 August 21st. Okay. Wow. What are you getting up there? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, what is your, what's the best vacation you ever had? Tell me about that. Mm, that's a great question. Best vacation. Well, I come from Paris, so whenever I go back France? to France, yes. You, you come from Paris, France? I do come from Paris, France. You're kidding. I was born do speak, there. Do you speak French? I do speak French, however, um, I'm like 65% fluent. Okay. Yeah. How long um, did you live there? I lived there till I was seven years old. Um, and yeah, when I moved here, I jumped right into English. So I lost a little bit of my French. So um, you should still take French online and, and practice it and use it because it's a valuable thing to have. It is. And you're, and you're close to doing it. Yeah, it is. It is. I actually remember you telling me that last call to take like online uh, yeah. practice. Uh, and that's speech too, you know, it all, it all works together. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I have been uh, practicing a little bit more at home um practicing my french because that has always kind of scared me a bit um so yeah 
but yes, my most amazing vacation was France because it's going back home and I always eat amazing. So you have French citizenship. I do have French citizenship. Good for you. Yes. That's nice. That's really neat. I love that. Yes. And I'm going back in September. Great. So. Is your whole family going or just you? Just me and my sister, Tiffany. Oh. Yes. And so where, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Well, uh, we're going to go to Paris. Um, then I'm going to go to Normandy to visit my grandma, which is actually the whole point of me going there is to see my grandma. Sure. Um, and then we're going to go to the, the south and visit Nice. Um, and we're just going to travel in a car around the area. Sure, that's wonderful. Yes. Okay, well, you need to get on your, so your, what, when are you going to do this? In September. September. Well, you better get cracking on your online French. Yeah. <laughs> look, yeah. look at it as a stuttering thing, too. You know, you're working on speech. Speech is speech. Yeah. You know, and, and come out of your, look, it's all, stuttering happens because we hold back. Why do we hold back? I don't know. We're, we think we'll be embarrassed, but everybody messes up their speech. The, the, you know, most, most of your speech mistakes, you should laugh at, laugh at yourself. You're a human being. You're going to, you're not hurting anybody and you, you know, laugh at yourself and, and keep on going. You want to, you want to make all conversations. You want the same attitude in all conversations that you've got right now with me. Right. And they're all the same. If you can talk to the crazy old guy in Bermuda, you can talk to anybody else. I can be very, very, you know, menacing guy and everything. You can still talk to me. Yeah. There's no risk here. There's no risk. And, you know, you've got a lot going for you, you know. Start counting your blessings a little bit. You have nothing to worry about. I mean, as long as you, you know, do your job and do the best you can and be a loving person, you know, basically, you know, succeeding in life, it's, it's not about beating other people. It's about doing well. It's about being the best you can be. You know, and whatever it is you're doing, whether you're a brain surgeon or a street sweeper, it only counts as how do you, did you do your best? You know, if you did your best, you can hold your head up. And if you do your best and you're a loving person, you're going to get love back one way or another at some level. Maybe not quite as much as you give out, but you're going to get it back. And you know what else? You can accomplish most of your reasonable goals. You're not going to grow wings and fly like a bird. That isn't going to happen. But most of your reasonable goals you can accomplish. You don't have anything to worry about. You gotta, yes, you gotta keep your nose clean. Don't get into drugs. Don't don't abuse yourself. Don't hurt people. You know, basic things. That's all you gotta do. And and you're gonna create a good life for yourself by doing that. If you're a lazy bum who hurts people, you're going to have a miserable life. Yeah. You're not going to do that. And frankly, you've got an advantage. You're cuter than most people. That's <laughs> nice. That helps. You know, so, you know, good for you. It's great. You know, relax. I mean, I know it's easy to say, but... Be an extreme example of yourself. Take the advice that singing coach gave me. Be come out. Instead of withdrawing when you feel pressure, go out. Be, be more excited and happier and smiling and really be an actress. Be somebody else. Be, be the pep girl. Be the one that says, oh, here comes Ella. Everything's going to be okay. Because she's smiling and she's bringing joy right into this group. That's who you are. 
because that's who you choose to be. You can be anybody you want yeah. within reason. You can't make yourself seven feet tall. You're not seven feet tall, but you can anything within reason you can do. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about what other people think. You have to worry about what you think and yeah. what you do. That's what that'll determine ultimately what other people think. Don't don't worry about it. And some people are crazy anyway, and they're never going to accept you or me or anybody else. So that's their problem. You can't solve everybody's problem. Yeah. You've got to solve your problems. It's true. And you can do it. It's an attitude question. I, I think that the main problem is that um, I care too much about other people's opinions. And you can't. You yeah. Got, you can't control them. Yeah. You can't control anybody's. But they will think well of you if what? If you do your best at what you do, if you're a loving person, and you're doing mind training on a daily basis to keep the negative nonsense out as much out of your brain as you can. Everybody gets the same negative nonsense you get. Every girl your age from your culture gets the same stuff. Yeah, a little different percentage, but they get the same stuff. So everyone's in the same boat. Everyone you're worried about their opinion, they're in the same boat as you are. Right. Okay. Males are a bit different. People who are older and younger, a bit different because of their ages. But fundamentally, we're 99 plus percent identical. And we can't escape that. And so you have no reason to worry about what other people think. Zero reason. Zero. You got to worry about what you can control. And that's what you think and what you do. And that's all you got to control. And your speech, you keep thinking, hey, I can talk to Coach Lee. I can talk to anybody else. They're all the same. Doesn't matter. And just babble away. And be as peppy and smiling and positive and cheerful. And don't think about words at all. Forget words. Your brain doesn't need your help to breathe and it doesn't need your help to pick words. Every word you've said to me today, your brain is picked. Right. And every one of those words was the right word. And you said every one of those words just fine. Okay. Be an extreme example of yourself. Come out of your shell. When you want to, you say, oh, when I'm under pressure. No, that's when you, you really excel under pressure. I speak my best under pressure because I've said it to myself thousands of times. I love to speak under pressure, and I do. I love to speak anywhere. I used to not be able to say my name though, for any amount of money. Couldn't do it. Not anymore. Lee, 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 Lee. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Lee, love it. <laughs> it's fun. This is fun. This is a game. Life is a game. It's Ella versus Ella. If you can conquer Ella, you win. Yeah. That's the game. It's not easy to get up when you know you need to get up, to do what you know you need to do, to be the kind of person you want to be, to think about other people. That's not easy. And not to do things to excess anything. Drink, eat, work out, anything. Even work. Don't, nothing done to excess because it backfires one way or another eventually. Right. You got to use common sense. You got it, you, but you got to use it. Can't go against your common sense. When that little thing in the back of your head says, don't do it, no, don't do it. Do not do it. But when it comes to speech, you have nothing to Nothing from anybody. 
you can say, when I become the best speaker I can be, I'm going to be probably the best speaker I know. I like that. And you can do it. I'm going to ask you to read something to me. Go ahead. Yeah, can I ask you? Um, when I'm in a high pressure situation and I feel like I'm choking and I'm blocking, which crutch do you recommend the most? It takes four things to stutter. The first one, you have to hesitate. The second one, you gotta think a word. The third one, you gotta fear it. And the fourth one, you gotta force it. Now, stutterers can do all those things at one time simultaneously, and it's the habit they've created. They hesitate, think a word, fear it, and force it. Hesitate, think a word, fear it, and force it. Now, if you don't do any one of those, any of them, you got to do all four of those things to stutter. If you don't hesitate, you'll never stutter. If you don't plan a word, you'll never stutter. If you don't fear a word, you'll never stutter. If you don't force a word, you'll never stutter. So when you stop doing any one of those things, you are not going to stutter. So when you feel under pressure, did we have a speech plan yet for you? Have we done a speech plan, you and I? Um, there was one that, yeah, it was passion, smile, pauses, uh, short link, stop. Short link, stop. And yeah, I have written here, slow, short link, stop. Now, but the fact that you're hesitant to say it tells me that you haven't been practicing it. You haven't been doing it. <laughs> so, what is your comment on that young lady? I've been trying, and I do try, but my habit keeps coming. The habit of me speaking, of the way I usually speak, it returns, and... I just have to keep reminding myself to use my speech plan. And it's like taking some time, I would say. You probably need to practice each element individually. How do you define short? Short, like short increments, so like a couple words. Which, one to three words or so. And what does or so mean? Uh, it could be a little more or a little Maybe less. Four, five, six. But it's you're shooting for one to three words, roughly. Now, I will speak to you in short increments right now. I'm counting my words. So you can see how it sounds when someone speaks in short increments of one to three words or so, followed by a one second stop. 1001. Now, it takes practice to speak in short increments. 
Can you do it to me? Now, let me ask you some questions. Let's see if you can speak to me in short increments. You don't need to count your words. There's no bad place to stop talking. Okay. I can stop anywhere in any sentence, in any increment of words. I can stop anywhere I want, as much as I want. I still sound normal, don't I? Yeah. Now you do the same thing. So tell me, what is your favorite food or things to eat? Oh, my favorite thing to eat is chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like my wife. <laughs> I can eat it any time of the day. <laughs> well, you know that sugar is one of the worst things for you. You know that. Yes, uh, but I get this one chocolate brand that's sweetened by coconut sh sugar, and it's just the best. <laughs> okay, uh, tell me about one of your friends in short and commercial. Okay, um, my friend Ivana, she comes from Serbia and uh, she moved here when she was 14 and we met in high school. Um, I went up to her on the first day of school and I introduced myself and ever since we've been inseparable. Okay, that's great. So now, that's not bad, short increments. Your stops should probably be longer. The minimum stop is 1,001. That's one second. And periodically, you should stop for two seconds. 1,001, 1,002. And once in a while, you should stop for three seconds. And then continue. If you lose the speech floor, it does not matter. You'll get it back. And when you do, you'll make better use of it than those others. Now, so short increments, longer stops. Now, to prevent a problem, under pressure, you have to link all your words. And to do that, you need to hold a tone through the words. When I worry, say that. When I worry. And I can't sleep. And I can't sleep. You got to hold the tone through all words. And I can't sleep. Like you're singing it. And I can sleep. You sing it all. You sing a little bit. A little here and there. 
And, and I can't say. No, I was just, that was just a question. Do you uh, do you uh, ever sing? Do I ever sing? Yes, I sing. Good. Uh, I lost my voice some years ago, but you know you do. You lose it in your sixties, and I said goodbye to my sixties. So um, I know you thought I was much younger. Man. Much younger, yeah. <laughs> 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 but okay, so let's try and put a little bit of a melody, a fake melody, with what we say. Um, and let's put our hands on our abdomens so we can feel our abdomen will naturally get hard. We don't have to do anything to our abdomen. It'll just get hard when we hold our tones. So say after me and try and breathe through all the words, pushing the air through all the words as if you're singing them. How are you? How are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? Now, can you feel your stomach getting harder? Yeah. That's because you're pushing. It takes air and your brain pulls it up. You don't have to do it. Your brain does it. It pulls it up and it drives it through the words. How are you? It's not how are you. It's how are you? One tone, no break. It's very important that we not even have a millisecond of a break. How are you? The tone must be continuous. Okay. And when it is, that's linking. And when you have short increments, you'll never run out of breath because you're not saying enough words to matter. Your, your brain always refills your chest cavity fast enough to say a short increment of words. You always have that much breath. Right. Your brain's way ahead of you. So you won't run out of breath and you don't have to think about breathing. You gotta think about holding your tone through your words. So keep your hand on your tummy and say, may I help you? May I help you? Will you help me? Will you help me? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. How kind of you. How kind of you. Now you're doing well. You're holding your tone through your words. I'm telling you right now, Ella, you'll never stutter as long as you live. If you hold your tone through your words, you can't do it. Yeah, putting my hand on the belly helps a lot because I've been practicing word linkage a lot this past month and I always tend to sneak a little pause. And that kills it. Yeah. You can't do it. Guys. And when you eliminate those pauses, you, you said goodbye, you'll say goodbye to stuttering in a hurry. And look, you don't have to talk in short increments the rest of your life. I don't. You, you just have to do it long enough until the habit breaks up and dissolves itself through disuse. It literally goes away. I mean, how did it get there? We don't know. But if we don't keep stuttering, it'll go away. Right. But we can't stutter. We cannot appear. It's okay to make a mistake. You know, I, I, I make mistakes and, and, and sometimes repeat words or, or, or force a word once in a while, but I don't ever do it because of fear, nor do I do it enough to say, I'm anyone to say he's disabled. You know, they don't do that. So little mistakes, forget them, Ella. Yeah. Laugh at yourself. You're funny. I'm funny. Everyone is funny. It's how you look at yourself and how you look at life. Yeah. You know, as long as you're doing your best and being a good person, 
You got nothing to fear. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You have no reason for anybody to look down at you. And if they do, it's their problem, not yours. Keep being who you are. Pep Ella, cheerful Ella, positive Ella, attentive Ella, loving Ella, nice Ella. They don't like you. They can't help it. Even the ones who are jealous of you, you're too pretty, you're too this or you're too that. You can't control that, but they'll get over that too. And they'll still like you eventually. Okay. Just takes a little longer sometimes. Right. You know, jealousy is a terrible thing. And people are jealous of how we look or the clothes we have, or the car we have, or the house we live in, or one thing or another, our income, or blah, 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 something. And you can't control that. And really, you don't even want to bother to try. You got a full time job doing your best and being a loving person and doing your mind training and not allowing any garbage in here about anything, speech included, of course. Yeah. That's all it is. It's garbage. All this concern about words, it's garbage. Totally unnecessary. And think of the way you talk to me and be an actress, be an extreme, be, be over the top, be Ella over the top. Okay. What do you think? I like it. I like it. Okay. <laughs> like what you're telling me. Can I ask you something? Of course. Um, I have a question about my mind training. Um, so what I've been doing is I've just kind of been doing a meditation and then after that, when I'm like more relaxed, um, I'll imagine myself speaking fluently as I'm teaching yoga in one of my classes and that's about all I do for mind training. Do you recommend anything to add or Say that. When, when and how long do you do it? So I meditate for about five minutes. That's not enough. Do you have the 10 affirmations? Yes. And you say them 20 times each? Yes. You can't do that in five minutes. I don't do that during the mind training, though. Like oh, that's. God. Like, that's like its own, that's like a part, you know what I mean? Well, when do you, when do you do, when do you say your, your 10 affirmations 20 times each? Right when I wake up and before I go to sleep. Okay, and how long does that take each time? Mm, I think it varies on my mood and my speech. Uh, I would say about 25 minutes. Okay, perfect. Well, that's, that's the mind training sessions I'm referring to. The, the rest of the time during the day, you, you're countering negative thoughts about speech or anything else right. and, and drowning them in a flood of contrary affirmations. I'm gonna speak under pressure and you're gonna to say to yourself, I love to speak under pressure. I love to speak under pressure. I love to speak under pressure. I can't wait to speak under pressure. It's so much fun. I'm going to be Ella over the top, smiling, bubbling, effervescent, effusive, happy. Oh, it's so much fun. I'm going to spread the joy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's hard to anybody. You just do it. Right. Say, oh, here comes Ella. It's going to be okay. Right. It's going to be okay. This is the way you can impact every pressure situation you have. Ella over the top. Positive, happy, energetic, joyful. Okay. Lighthearted, 
life is short and it's it has it certainly has its problems but we can't dwell on the problems now we've got to dwell on the positive yeah absolutely right as we go insane Absolutely. There are a lot of positives. Even at my late time in life, one thing is I'm a lot smarter than I was 20 years ago. And 20 years ago, I was a lot smarter than I was 20 years before that. And that's one of the advantages of age. You're smarter. You can deal with more. That's a good thing. So, so the speech plan is all over the top, but it's also if you only short increments and have stops. It's going to be easier. Now, you randomly block on an individual word randomly. Yes. What um, do you do about it? What do you do when you do that? So, when I block, I just go quiet because, yeah, I refuse to be humiliated. Um, but what I, don't you have? What crutches do you use? You can you can speak in spite of the block by using crutches one through eight, any number of them. Yeah. So I usually I like go quiet, and then I'll either reword it. Like that's the that's A six. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's the first crutch that my mind like. Okay. Towards. That's fine. Um, or if I can't do that, if if I can't replace the words, then I'll. Um, oh, I like squint my eyes. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I like do this, and it like. Don't, don't know what this. I'm not gonna turn that. What about what about crush number four? You put a put another word in front of the block word and connect it. Let's say the block word is Ella. So you say, well, Ella, say that. Well, Ella. So Lee. So Lee. Well, jumping jack. Well, jumping jack. When you put an irrelevant word like well, so, or and, or sound, ah, uh, or mm, in front of the word, Oh, I always say that. Ah, uh, Ella. Ah, uh, Lee. Ah, uh, Lee. A sound works the same way. Whenever you make a sound or say another word, you've broken the block. The only thing you can't say when you're blocked is the one word, the one syllable, the one letter you're blocked on. That's it. Right. Everything else is available to you. Don't plan anything. Babble. You're Ella over the top. You babble a little bit. Sometimes you don't make any sense. So what? That's not a crime. Right. You're the fun. You're going to be fun. You're going to be fun and sometimes a little silly. So what? Right. The world needs this. They need this kind of an attitude. Yeah. I don't know if people do this. Right. You want to lighten up the entire group. And if you and if you do really stutter on something, laugh at yourself. Yeah. Can't believe that. I couldn't say Ella. How silly is that? L L L L. Yeah. Laugh at yourself. You're funny. I'm funny. Everybody's funny. Yeah. It's all how we look at it. I choose to see myself that way. Yeah. So, okay. Question, how many bad incidents, if any, 
meaning you felt humiliated by your speech. How many of those, if any, have you had since I saw you last? You're thinking too hard. You haven't had any. Yeah, I don't think I really have. Yeah, I don't think I really have. You tell me, can you remember your last bath? Forgetting since we talked, but um, what are we talking? Every two weeks or something? Is that what we're doing? I think we're doing once a month because the last time we spoke was last month. So, so you're uh, well. That then that, that that's a month. Um, so that's really good. You got to yeah. feel a lot better about yourself. Yeah. Again, I'm just working on that positive mentality. As, um, yeah. It's it's just very, I guess, easy to get into like a negative mm, mindset. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's really what I'm working on in terms of my speech. Make progress, or you, or you would be having problems. Right. That you're not having. Right. So, um, you were having. I'm looking at my notes here. You were having. 35% with family and friends um, and zero to 30 in class. So with your family and friends, you haven't been, you haven't been stubborn the past month. No. Well, no. Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? Aren't you celebrating? Um, yeah. I guess I just have a hard inner critic. Um, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta celebrate what's good. Yeah. You know, if you get a trophy for something, you don't say, "Well, I didn't get a trophy." You're proud of the trophy. And you hold it up, and you know, you give it a kiss, and you put it on the mantle, and yeah. that's good. So, I mean, this is important. Yeah. No, you're right. So, okay, so what percentage of the, of the day do you feel, if any, that you're under pressure to speak at this point when you speak? Hmm. I'd say like, I don't mean the tiniest bit because Ella, everyone on the planet has some nervous, some, what you have and I had about stuttering, everybody has that to some degree, but they don't stutter. They, they blink their eyes or um, they uh, get a headache or their, hair, their heart goes whatever, or they maybe don't talk very much, but everybody has that at some level, virtually every human being. And now I've gotten over it because I've worked at it. I've made it a business and I like it. You know, I've converted the lemon into lemonade. You know, I drink my own, my own uh, uh, Kool-Aid, you know, and so it's different. But, and you can do the same thing I do. I'm not doing anything you can't do. Hey, you don't come to Sam very often, do you? No, because I worked during that time. That's right. I keep forgetting she yes. worked during Sam. That that's unfortunate. It is. I know. Yeah. Do you do any practice groups? Um, I was beginning with the practice groups, um, but I haven't attended, and I've 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 actually been uh, meeting with two other PWS, um, like privately um on zoom and we just practice crutches and good it's, it's very helpful yeah okay great yeah That's wonderful all right yeah. well look um i've got to go i've got another call so when, when will i see you again 
Uh, do you want to do one if you're free one month from today. oh actually uh, one month from today I work August 22 um, are you fr August 21 is my birthday um, are you free August 23 or oh. around that time just about one month from today yeah hold on August 23 is Friday. What 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 uh, time? I forget. You're in Florida, so yeah. So like 11 a.m. August 23. Yeah. Let me just bring my calendar here. Okay. August. Okay. Yeah. Look, I think uh, this is, if you, uh, okay, I put you down for 11 a.m. August 23. And, you know, if you go another month without a bad incident, I think you should, uh, you should post a stop stuttering story. That doesn't mean that you don't have fear that you'll, you're hundred percent. It doesn't mean that. It just means you're not appearing speech disabled. That's all it means. I actually already posted one. Oh, you did. Good for you. Yes. Yes, I already posted one. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. See what a what an old crazy old man I am. Because <laughs> I don't remember that. Uh, so uh, I'm so glad you did that. That's that's terrific. Let yes. me let me look up and see if I can find it because uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, that's so good. That is so good. And yeah, I'm proud of you. But so second base is no word planning. And third base is loving to speak everywhere. So we need to get you to that level too. You look, you, sh you shouldn't settle for anything less than loving to speak. There's no reason you don't have to be a great orator. You have to be happy when you speak right. and, and, you know, and projecting, you know, think about your mood, the, the mood you want to express in your speech, joy, compassion, uh, understanding, tolerance, patience, project qualities when you speak. Think about qualities, not words. Okay. Okay. Look, you, you can have so much fun with this, uh, you know, this can be just such a wonderful experience that you just rise to the top and, you know, and you make your life so much better and a lot of other people's lives better. As a result, there's no reason you can't do this. None. Okay. So I'm counting on you. I'm going to call my broker as soon as I hang up. <laughs> I double my bet on Ella. Ella will be an exemplar. She's going to be a prototype for what we're trying to achieve in this program. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. I'll see you in August. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Lee. Thank you so much. My pleasure, dear.